<laughs> Ew, what? People will be like, what? Just random, unassuming wallpaper to do. Little do, little will people know the horrors that lurk beyond it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this random, like, perfectly normal looking drawing of a pigeon. Yeah. I think I'll get rid of that one, actually. All right, what else can I replace it with? Suit. What is finger hoodoos? Oh, yeah, just, uh, here, hold on. I have so many of these saved, I don't even know what the hell most of them are. So, pigeon finger, pigeon finger, where are you? God. Just the right size. Who saw a new Detective Pikachu trailer? Because it's looking good. <laughs> Shouldn't be looking good, though. Yeah, it has no right to be as good as it is. <clears throat> okay, so... Last time, um, I got pretty close to the end of the third day... And I uh, was going to end the stream after I finished this, but then uh, my, the, the computer just randomly decided to shut off. So I just kind of ended the stream there. Um, so there's not really that much left for me to do before I reset time. Um, not much that I can think of, at least. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and start a new cycle, I guess, after I get attacked by a ghost. That was a perfect, perfectly timed pause there. I liked that. But, um, yeah, I guess as recap, here's all the items that I have. I've got quite a bit of stuff. Um, ice arrows are the main thing that I'm missing. I actually don't remember what goes in these other slots. Um, yeah, I don't really remember what goes here. I'm sure it's something important. I could use more bottles. Uh, I've got all the transformation masks, a random assortment of other ones. Uh surprisingly large number of songs. I still need Sonata, New Wave, Bossa Nova, and Elegy of Emptiness. Uh, the car key on the right is just to get into the, the inn. Powder keg's one of them, that's right. Yes, thank you. So light arrows apparently do not work against this as well as I hoped it would. Alright, so I have this blue potion, which is going to disappear when I go back in time. I have nothing that I can do with it right now. I'm going to go ahead and catch the big po, because I can at least sell that at the shop, I think. Also probably sell the moon tier. Oh. I'm alright with that. Even though apparently it's not a very good mask, but only if you're good at like fast movement otherwise, which I'm not. What the hell is the point of this section? Alright then. What about Scotty TT? Uh, yeah, it's early stream today because I'm probably going to be recording some stuff later. And uh, I still wanted to play this, so my options were do nothing for a few hours, then record, and then not be able to stream until, like, probably 9. Or just do it now. Oh, I'm 
cutting grass. All right. Um, so let me think what I want to do here. So I have a few hours left before I have to reach that time. I really don't... I, I did check this, right? I think I did. I still haven't been in the Snowhead area at all, but I don't want to start that on this cycle. And I also have not been into the pirate base, but I don't want to start that either. Yeah, I've been in here. So, um... Yeah, I might just... I might just reset time early. Go ahead and, uh, Sell my wares, at least. The chat's cut off. Oh. Well, we gotta have room for the for the Hadoo finger video, so I think that'll be fine. Oh, the dancing girls are gone, so I can't get that heart piece yet. I'll have to remember that I haven't done that yet. Random musical interlude from Car Outside. Here's a thing I won't be able to buy because I don't have the wallet for it. Really? This thing's like 500 rupees, right? Yeah, can't get that. Alright, how do I sell you stuff? Hold it all, but okay. I've cleaned out all the shops here, I think. The only thing I haven't bought is the powder keg from the Goron, and I believe that's not randomized anyway. Yeah, there should be a zippy emote also, because that one was submitted at the same time as the Hadoo, but it, like, didn't show up right away. Let me see if it works. It does not work. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why! And you don't take the moon's chair. Okay. Well, let me go give it to the toilet hand, because clearly he will, he'll be able to use it. Uh, is there anything left to do? Oh, wait, is there a... Is there a chest in... Anju's room? Where she waits? I don't even know if I can get into that, because I haven't done the quest, but uh, I'll at least check. Oh, well, it's open. Yeah, there is a chest in here. What is this? A map of Woodfall. I mean, okay. Getting there, just need song, right? Yeah, I still can't get into the temple, but, uh... Mm. I also have found a grand total of one small key for all of the dungeons combined.
Yeah, I think I've pretty much uh, emptied this place of its usefulness, so I guess we'll just go ahead and go back in time. I know I'm gonna be... Re I'm gonna remember something, but, uh... Yeah, I th I've got nothing, so... I've deposited my money, let's just go ahead and do this. I already gave the moon tear to the guy by the tower, he doesn't give me a, um, a title deed. Oh yeah, I forgot, we just don't have visuals whenever there's motion blur. Alright, so, let's immediately slow down time. Swamp archery is a thing. Let me do Honey and Darling Shop. Um, because I have to do that on all three days. The Tana Canyon Cave is going to be a trip. Which one do you mean? Okay, so I don't actually remember what's on top of the uh, shooting gallery. I remember it was something important in one of the seeds. It might have been the original one. But let's just go ahead and check it. Uh, I'll get two hour grandma story at some point. I don't even know if I can do that yet. Okay, well I can play the game now at least. This will never not be the worst music. Yeah, fun game. What would it be like if us? 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 What would? Come on, hit the damn target. Spam, spam. Spam, 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 spam. <clears throat> Wait, I'm out. I didn't know there was a limit. Oh, there's not. I'm just dumb. God damn. Okay, I guess we'll try that again. I don't know if I've ever actually failed that game before. Doesn't shield dropping them just make them explode? Or is that only if you have ISG? I guess you can shield drop them. I don't know if it does anything, though. Yeah, I saw that tweet. Apparently, they're going to be revealing Pokemon stuff tomorrow.
Yeah, I always thought it was weird how the first minigame is the worst one. Hit seven minutes. That's a, that's a good direct. Okay, um, I guess we can do Grandma's story. And then I guess we'll, uh, I'll subject myself to the Swamp Shooting Gallery again, because I know that, uh, one of the things from that is... Uh, Cafe's letter, which I do want to have, like, early on. Although I don't know if I'll be able to complete that whole side quest in this cycle, though, so it might not be entirely necessary. So the emulator has no problem displaying these images, even though in my LP this was just a black screen. But uh, it can't display motion blur, which I had no problem with before this. I don't know what is going on with the graphic settings here. deposit this money, I guess, and then head over to the swamp and then realize that I don't have money to pay for the shooting gallery, but there's like a 20 rupee thing in the uh, bush there, so I should be fine. This was not the bathroom. Uh, is anyone in the chat right now who was uh, in the Discord group? Because I posted the spoiler sheet there. And I am still curious if there's different rewards for the Swamp Shooting Gallery, depending on what day it is. I never did actually find out what the second reward for it was. I thought it did have day dependent rewards for some reason, which makes no sense, but I seem to remember that being the case. I'd be happy for that to be wrong, though. Blackness, go. No, it's probably just a power surge. Please. Please cut bush. <laughs> oh boy, more of this music. Okay, so I think the one in the tree is the only one that's going to require me to change the uh, analog sensitivity. Come on. Why are you saying something highly sexual? It's not allowed.
so many wolves. Oh, I actually did hit that one. Okay. Nothing wrong with offensive things. That's pretty good. Perfect. Perfect is only pretty good. <clears throat> okay, what time does this letter have to be delivered? I don't have it in the notebook, so I don't know. No, that's the letter from, uh, that's the letter from his mom, the priority mail. This is a different one. Yeah, I watched the FJ stream. That is the priority mail at the end? Really? I was told that this was the one that you get early on. Someone lied to me. So doesn't this one actually have two possible outcomes? Like, there's one that you get by giving it to the postman, and then he gives it to the lady at the bar, and then there's another one that you get by just delivering it to her yourself. Because, like, one of them normally gets you a bottle, and one of them gets you the postman's hat, I think. Can we hit the fucking wolf? Apparently not. So that means I get to do this mini game again later. Oh! Man, I am having a bad time. Okay. Fuck. Come out. Come out. Come out. Wait. This is gonna be down to the wire here. God, there's another wolf. I didn't know there was another one. Beat Hada. I thought I was going to just barely get that. <clears throat> Worst mini game. And once again, there's like a mountain trail in my throat. <clears throat> well, other than the mountain trail in my throat, I'm okay. Come on. Holy shit, my aim. <laughs> Please. did so good on the first run of this. Why do I have to struggle so much on the second one? I like how I basically just have to get lucky with my lineup on that one in the tree. Like, it's just, it's completely up to luck whether or not the game decides to align me with it properly. Let's, uh, try and get these real quick. So stupid. I'm having to just pause the emulator 
to open this window because I can't pause the game. Please. Please. Okay. Please don't be anything good. Alright. So I never have to do that twice again. I do probably have to do it once again, though. <sighs> Alright. Um... Oh yeah, I don't need to do this right now. Uh, you don't have priority mail, mail it right away. Okay. What part of the quest is this normally? This is when you... You show her the mask and then she gives you this and then you mail it. And then he gets it, the postman gives it to him the next day, right? So I don't think this is time sensitive other than it having to be done on the first day. Oh, yeah, maybe I should give it to the toilet, actually, because I don't think I'm going to be doing the rest of the quest on this uh, cycle. meet him? Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and do it then. I'm sure I'll get a title deed somewhere. Okay, so at some point I still need to um, do the like postman 10 second game and I have to show the dancing mask to the sisters but uh, those are both not at this time. So right now my options are Snowhead and Pirate Fortress and um, neither of them sound particularly pleasant to me because I really really fucking hate Snowhead. Um, Pirate Fortress is probably going to be a massive pain without um, more than one bottle though. So I guess, let, yeah, let's just do snow job. You just run into this Dodongo here. Oh, and stone mask. Yeah, I mean, you can do it without stone mask, but it'll be easier with it. Did I not get the underwater chest? I thought I did. Well, let's check. I just save stated so I can reload. Actually, yeah, I think I might have only gotten this in the original seed. That's true. Okay, well, we found the toilet paper. Now, um, so the ocean deed, I want to actually... That one has to go to the one in the canyon, right? I don't give that to the one in the ocean. Okay. I'm going to save state before I do this, because I am, like, 99% sure that this is going to be a bomb bag that downgrades me and makes me lose my ocarina. I just want to see for sure. I don't have access to the canyon yet. I might get it, though. Depending on if I find Garo's mask. Or I could bomb hover, but that takes effort. Oh 
Okay, I still have my ocarina, but I've lowered my bomb capacity, so yeah, I still don't want that either way. Alright, back we go. Magic seems like something worth getting. Uh, free item at the beginning of this seed was just a heart pace. Yeah. <laughs> I was a fan of that. Yeah, I hope it gets changed. If I'd call them the bloopies. I don't know if this game really has a bloopy equivalent. Because, um. I don't think it ever really gives you those. It gives you 20 rupees sometimes. There are like 54 hard pieces, though. <laughs> I'm a fan of this. Too bad you can't get the Razor Sword replacement. Why not? I mean, for that, I just I need to have the Gold Dust, right? I don't think the guy actually takes your Razor Sword to make it into the Gilded Sword in the Randomizer. I think it, he just takes the Gold Dust. Oh, right, the, the first step for the 100 rupees, that's right. Dude. Uh, you still get a fanfare for every stick and nut. I don't know why. I'm checking everything here because I don't remember where grottos are. I'm just rolling into trees in case they drop money, not that I can hold it. Dude. These tectites are the fucking worst. <laughs> um, I didn't start with Razor Sword. I found it somewhere. Clear snow hood, okay. Hello, Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you here. It's a little bit lackluster. Da, 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 da. Oh, man, it immediately gets interrupted. I think it sounds pretty good. Where's the owl statue here? I thought it was like right here. Is there not an owl statue like right near this? I think it's like a little behind somewhere. Like down another path. There it is. Which galaxy? This, this is the first level in Galaxy 2, right? I'm trying to remember what this song is. I think this is in the, uh, 
the 64 song uh, Mario Paint epic medley. I just don't remember the name of it. Yeah, dungeons and en dungeon entrance randomizer is on. I'm pretty sure that uh, I saw in the spoiler log that Woodfall still leads to itself, but I don't know about the other ones. No, this isn't Gusty Garden. Okay, so I can't do anything in there. I can't do anything with the Goron. I could climb this wall. I don't remember if I want to do that before finding Darmani's ghost, though, so I guess let's just head on. Actually, I should probably deposit my money, because I'm probably going to find more. Well, some dungeon somewhere will cause it to become spring. I still don't think I'm actually ready to do any dungeons, because I don't know how many keys they all require, but it's certainly going to be more than zero, because I found one key for Great Bay, and that was it. I'm probably going to have to go into dungeons to find keys, though, so once I have access to one, I guess I'll look at it. There does not actually appear to be a key, a key recap screen, unfortunately. You just kind of have to remember. Yeah, I guess let's let's go ahead and look at the dungeon, see what it is. Oh, hold on. Uh, I have to reset Scarecrow's song. How many bombs do I have? Uh, I could maybe bomb hover that. Or I could just warp back here after setting Scarecrow's on. Really? When you clear the dungeon, the fixed thing happens the region you entered from. That would be interesting. So how the hell is Stone Tower going to work if it's not vanilla? Does it still flip by shooting the eye switch, like, at the actual outdoor Stone Tower? I mean, I imagine it would have to. No, not Song of Storing. Normal stone tower is always vanilla, but inverted is randomized. Okay. That's odd. So that means you would climb up st the stone tower, and you go inside, and it is stone tower temple, but if you shoot the switch to invert it, now it's just suddenly Great Bay. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck am I stuck on? That was a good camera angle there. I liked that. I could walk up this ramp. But that would be boring.
Yeah, screw it. Okay, what do we got? Hello, inverted stone tower. Okay. I'll see how much of this I can access. Probably not a whole lot. Also have to be very careful opening chests in this area because uh, a key somewhere in Stone Tower is a bomb bag downgrade. There's not music in this place at all. No, there is. What is this? It sounds like just generic grotto music. Oh, stray fairies. Oh yeah, stray fairies aren't randomized. And I don't know where all the stray fairies are normally, so they'll just kind of show up unexpectedly. I think I can do anything else in here. Yeah, I slowed down time. That's not a chest, right? I can't actually tell what that is. No, that's just part of the metal beam. Okay, yeah, I can't get up there. I might not bother with the stray fairies, but there is a possibility that they'll lead to something important. You never know. of emptiness. Of course that would mess. Every chest have to be upside down? Really? Uh, I don't know what I can do in here. Does it? What does this button even do anyway? Gets rid of fire around a chest that is not currently spawned. So I actually don't even care about that at the moment. Spawns that chest though. <laughs> Bug makes the stupidest sound. And there's a locked door. There was an explosion. Alright. Um. Does kill the killing the bug spawn a chest? 
in this room. Okay, how do you normally get up here? I mean, there were a couple doorways. How the fuck... Actually, there's not even anything there. Except I thought a chest spawned there. Because I can't open that door from this angle anyway, so never mind. Um, oh, frozen eye switch. I don't know how to do a gainer. Dude. There's the chest. I think that's a stray fairy. I'll grab it just to be safe, though. Uh, I went into the entrance to Snowhead, and I'm in Inverted Stone Tower. You know, as you do. Shit. God, maneuvering in this room is a son of a bitch. Stray Fairy. Stray Fairy. Okay, that does no good. Uh, what is in this door over here? This isn't where I came from, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Well, let me check the other doors. I mean the other door, because there's only one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is alright. More chests are always a good thing. Dude, go away. Nice, okay. Well, that opens a few things. Now I can buy the heart piece from the salesman in the Termina Field Grotto. I can buy um, the Razor Sword upgrade. I don't know what else that might be at, actually. Okay, so excluding bomb hovering, is this everything I can access? Because I could hover over there, or I could just continue to get grabbed by this hand. Yeah, I could hover over there, and I could hover in the... Uh, main room to the place where, like, the Armos Knight is. Yeah, I think that's about it. Well, I'll keep those in mind, I guess, but I don't really want to break the dungeons. I'm gonna try- uh oh good. <laughs> I'm gonna try to, um, not do them in, like, weird ass-backwards orders, so... Uh, we got a wallet, and that was something. I can still check the rest of the mountain area now. And hey, we spawned some chests in uh, non-inverted stone tower, so 
if I somehow manage to get there in this cycle, then that's something. I think that would require Garo's Mask and Elegy of Emptiness for me to get up there. What am I doing? Let me just warp. Guys closed. Oh, I don't even have a hundred rupees yet. Never mind. I'll check them later. What time is the postman practicing in his room? Does anyone know? Because I think the Rosa sisters are out, but I don't really want to go to Clock Town unless I can take care of a couple things at once. Ten a.m. Well, I'll probably be heading back to town at some point anyway, so I'll just take care of that. Oh, hey, there's Tingle. Oh boy, we get to buy more maps. Guess let's do that. I'm gonna have to go back probably to get money to buy Tingle's other map, but let me buy one of them, see what the, like, old-ass Frozen Goron gives me, and I'll maybe warp back. Good. The other one was only 40, I can get 5 rupees just from breaking rocks and stuff. I know, it's a stick. You don't have to show me every time. Dude. Okay. Bye, then. I want to buy Tingle's other map. Something's got to drop some money. Sure. Oh. One rupee. No. The hunt for five rupees. We're three fifths of the way there. Come on, we can do this. Nothing wrong with Jiggle Billy Shadow Queen.
God damn it, Tingle, you're the worst. No, Tingle's actually given some good stuff before. That was just a particularly shitty one. Cat, uh, what the fuck? I didn't know there was a turtle here. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can interact with him. I guess I'll try anyway, but let me just... Fucking wolves everywhere. Making sure there's nothing else. I know there's stuff here once you, like, unfreeze the lake, but, uh... It doesn't appear like there's anything else right now. Excellent noises begin. Also, the music in here is just uh, shifting sand land. Wait, I didn't even have to play the lullaby for him? Okay then. I still want to go talk to the old one, because he normally gives me the lullaby. Or no. The kid gives- yeah, he gives you the lullaby intro, which is not in the randomizer. I figured the item location might still give me something, though. I should go check. But, uh, let me light these torches and do that whole thing. Well, I call it Shifting Sandland, but yeah, either way. It sounds really bad in this instrument style. I guess I'm gonna have to come back with a shit ton of money. Now let's begin the very long, arduous adventure of carrying some rock beef. Oh 
probably, yeah, I'm gonna have to check it. I just don't have the money for it right now. I actually don't know how to... I'm not going to have any way of timing this, so I'm probably just going to have to break all of them. Yeah, who did put the beef in the chandelier? It's like putting the... It, like, who put the screw in the tuna, and who put the beef in the chandelier? Oh my god, beef. Okay, cool. Only two tries. is also good. Sever your leg, please. It's the Why did you drop that? Sever your leg, please. It's the greatest day. No, I will not slash my fingers then. I just wanted to order a dang hamburger. Save state. Okay, fine. Whoa. Okay, uh, let me go talk to Gramps and Grampsa. It's a combination of Grandpa and Gramps. Grampsa. And, uh, then I actually want to go back to Clock Town right quick and, uh, check Rosa's sisters, check if the postman's in there, and then pull out some money because I need to buy a bunch of shit. Bubsy. Oh my god. Okay, so. Bubsy is currently getting into a large bowl of, like, cheesecake batter and uh, we need to make that not be the case. By cheesecake batter I basically just mean it's like a bunch of cream cheese mixed with, uh, like, chocolate chips and something. I, I, it's not, like, batter, but I don't know what else to call it. Alright, you got something? I don't get what this guy's deal is. Is his state just messed up? Because he normally does something, right? Maybe it's just because I have the full lullaby already. Yeah. Can someone check if he gives you an item? Like, look at the spoiler log or something? Uh, yeah, 
that's right, I wanted to warp back to the to clock town. stuff I have to buy. Why did I take out that mask? I was reading the chat and read Deku Scrub and I was not paying attention to what I was doing. Best cutscene. Had to randomly interrupt it with shopkeep. Don't don't ask why. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that opens a couple things. Um. Oh, yes. I don't actually know what this does. Like, I've never done this in vanilla, so... What is he? Does. Let me try taking a picture of nothing and see if he still responds to it the same way. Because I don't know if that was an emulator glitch or if it just wasn't a good enough picture. Because if it is a glitch, then that's a problem. Hmm. He's not important for. Yeah, he's definitely not needed for 100% normally. Do I need like a picture of her face? Here, let me let me just let me just stand in front of you here. Don't mind me. The game should recognize that I'm taking a picture of her, whether or not the photo displays properly. Okay, see, I don't think he's randomized. That's fine. Alright, uh, the only other things I need to take pictures of are Tingle, which actually I can do now, and, uh, the Gerudo. Yeah, you normally get a heart pace by showing the guy either Deku King or Tingle. Um, well, I mean, I figure I thought the Deku King was the more obvious of the two. Actually, the Tingle one is just if you uh, 
like pay attention to the subtext. Didn't see anything about Gramps Pap having anything. Okay. Uh oh. Where was the mirror shield? Um, I don't remember. Somewhere stupid. How did it get up there before? Like that, I guess. Is this thing time? I, I feel like this is time sensitive. not. I didn't pay attention to what I got. That was a key, right? I wasn't actually looking at what I got off of the rooftop there. Stone Tower Temple Key. Okay. Um, I'm not going to give the hand the paper because I don't know if I'm going to have access to Akana Canyon in this seed yet. Or in this cycle. If I do, then I'll use it there. But if I don't, then I'll do it on day three. Alright, um. Let me withdraw a bunch of money. I mean, I kind of have a feeling something like that's going to happen, so I'm actually trying to put off doing the dungeons as long as possible, because I might have to do them all in, like, one go. I mean, I was withdrawing money so I could go shop at the Goron place. I don't know why you're telling me to do that. What else did I say I needed money for? Razor sword upgrade and Termina Field heart pace, that's right, okay. Well it's just I, I said I was withdrawing money, so I figured it was implied. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to deplete my bank account, which is unfortunate because I need to still fill the bank with a bunch of money to get a different reward, which I really should be focusing on doing before I'm spending all the money, because it would be less work that way, but eh. I could just kill a bunch of bubbles out in the field with light arrows. Oh, and it's, yeah, Scarecrow song. God damn it. Alright. Okay, that paid itself off. And. So wait, hold on. 200 minus 40, 160. Minus 40, 120. Okay, yeah, I guess that. I, I felt like I gained back more than I should have from that. Blast Mask. Or Blast Mask, as some may call it. Yes. break the pot. It's important that I have a full stick in inventory. 
can't survive without it. This is going to be a hundred rupees, isn't it? Two hundred? Oh god. Yeah, I'm going to have to withdraw a shit ton of money for that. Uh, okay, that doesn't look like too bad of a hover. I don't have any chews. I really don't want to have to come back later with the deed for this, because I'm, I'm not going to remember. I'm actually not sure how to start this without a bomb chew. Because I don't know if I can shield drop and jump with this setup here. Um, shit. I need to be able to jump. This is difficult. Um just up where the like the flower leads to. I might be able to do that. Why did I swing my sword? What the hell? <laughs> my problem is I can't hold L, R, and A at the same time with my case with my keyboard setup actually, so screw it, we're not doing it. Come back later. Now we get to see the world disappear. Bubsy now has separation anxiety. Well, I got bomb shoes. Anything else in here? Bubsy. We'll be okay. You're not gonna die. <laughs> Shouldn't Dormani be here? I guess 
that's not a thing in randomizer. Okay, so I'll have to climb that wall either way. I guess he's already up there. Uh, let's see. I can do the bomb hover now. I need to get 200 rupees to buy the bomb bag. That I might actually put off until I fill more of the bank. Um, because that's a high price item. What else have I not done? I'm thinking. Um, there's the Scarecrow Song heart piece, which I'll need another bomb shoe for. Or I could just get Scarecrow Song, which would make more sense. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Because this seems like something worth doing. I think Razor Sword upgrade has to be in the day. I'm waiting until 6 a.m. Bubsy, you're okay. Jesus. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, the button combination on this. There we go. He's meowing because Martin left. Even though he was in the other room earlier. Whenever somebody leaves, he gets sad. It's... Kind of unfortunate. Am I anywhere even close to the correct height for this? I feel like I'm not gaining enough height off these jumps. need to get a little higher. And I think I lost height off of that one. Is there a way for me to tell how high I am? I don't know if I can change the camera angle when I'm hovering like this. There we go. Alright, was it worth it? Well, I guess I can buy the thing here. After I find ten more rupees somewhere. The hunt begins. You know what, I'll come back. Let me, uh, let me check what's in Darmani's grave. If there's money up there, then I can come back. Or I can just put this in the bank and buy that later. Eh! Wall. You know, I didn't really do a very good job of exploring the rest of that mountain area. Is there any other stuff over there other than the, uh, the thing that, like, starts the, uh, Powder Quag... Powder Quag. The Powder Quag Challenge? Because I don't think I can do that until the area is, uh, unfrozen. Meow! Oh my god, this cat. <laughs> For the record, I'd like to point out, he does this all the goddamn time. And um he'll he'll get into these he'll get into these really whiny moods and it will like think that uh he's just lonely and like wants to have like attention or be played with or something. And so I'll like get up and like pick him up and, like, try to play with him a bit, and then he'll just kind of wander off. What the fuck do I do here? Um, and then he'll start whining again. So, it's like, I don't, I don't know what he wants. How do you do this? Hold on.
Oh, good. Really? Am I gonna have to climb this again? God damn it. That's okay, I wasn't that far up. Reaching over to the volume keys and it messed me up. Okay. How do I do this? Right, left, right, I guess? No brown bricks in have song. Okay, is this it? So, uh, Mikau's mask turned into 20 rupees. Can we go for two for two on this one? Good. No invisible items in here, really? Okay, so I guess there's nothing else up here. That was a little bit of a waste of time. Alright, well, let me go ahead and buy the Razor Sword upgrade. We'll worry about the big bomb bag later. Dark-minded Seth call this guy, like, Hot Daddy Hard Nipples? Some horrible fucking name like that. Like, what even is the suit that he's wearing? Like, the fuck is it? Wait, you need gold dust? Is the other upgrade day one only? I guess that would make sense, because you need to do this upgrade on the second day. That's annoying. Oh well, we'll grab it in another cycle. Oh. 
it could, yeah, it might be because it detects the razor. So that's kind of broken, if so. Um, hmm. Okay. Something tells me that's going to be a problem. But yeah, hopefully it's uh, just a day two thing. So is that it for this area then? Other than the bomb bag, which I'm trying to farm rupees for. Well, yeah, the Razor Sword is permanent. I didn't know it was originally, but I was told that, and it does seem to be the case. Let me head back to the town, make sure there's nothing else over there. Hopefully find five rupees in the process. I could spend 20 rupees to get five rupees from Tingle. Would that help? God damn it. Why are rupees so scarce when you need them? Like, come on, you can't you can't cut me a break here, let me buy it for 195. It's close enough. I'm not going all the way back to Clock Town to withdraw five rupees from the bank. It's not happening. There we go. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Save stating before buying this. If it's anything that's an actual downgrade, I'm gonna reload, but... No matter what else it is, no matter how bad it is, I'm going to have to stick with it, just to be fair. Motherfuck, okay. That was an expensive compass. Is that the last compass? I think I've gotten all of them now. will give me, like, the ability to carry them. Which I think then means I can get into um, Romani Ranch earlier than day three. It's already too late to do the whole, like, alien attack, but uh, oh my god, pick it up. I think the powder keg at the bomb shop is not randomized. Seriously, did they have to have these things like every three feet? God, that 
fuse is getting worryingly small here. Make. Okay. I know you can shoot it with an arrow to speed it up, but it's pretty much already done anyway. I think. Maybe. There it goes. And I don't think I can do anything in here. But let me look just in case. And it's shifting sandland again. Yeah, I can explore the racetrack, but uh, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot for me. So powder kegs are needed for opening that, getting into Romani Ranch, and opening the top of the Castle Icana, right? And that's it. I don't think they're needed for anything else. And I don't believe there's any reason for me to bother going to the ranch on day two, because the cows have already been abducted, so I'm not going to bother on this cycle. Okay, does that give me the ability to carry them? That worries me. Ugh. Okay, let me... I try to buy one from the Clock Town shop, because I have to get money for it anyway. Oh yeah, I need to do Honey Darling game too. So do I have to buy one from him? Oh wait, shit, did I... Okay, it's it's 10 a.m. on the second day. When when do I have to go see a uh, cafe in the hideout? I thought it was like 3 p.m. Can someone check for sure? Because I don't have the bomber's notebook, so I don't actually... Well, I have it, but I haven't encountered the character yet, so I don't actually have a way to check. Oh! Back up the squadron. I have until 3 p.m. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can buy a keg from the bowder the bowder shop. Ugh. 
I guess I do have to buy one for 100. I don't need it in this cycle, but I'd like to be able to buy them later. So let me go ahead and do it, whatever. No, don't deposit. I always do this. Um, you can't buy powder kegs until you've bought a powder keg. Makes perfect sense. I know. Fuck the scarecrow song every time. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, you, you have to be able. You have to have the powder keg grayed out in your inventory in order to buy more, basically. And right now, the only way for me to get one is to buy one from the guy at the shop. So I'm doing that so that I have the ability to buy them from the other shop later. It's kind of pointless, but it I'd rather do it this way. Also, let me make sure post I think it's after 3 p.m. Yeah. So 3 p.m. I have to I have to come by, uh, go to laundry pool, and then possibly see what postman's doing after that. Why am I back here? What the fuck am I doing? I'm here to get Scarecrow Song. Or just, you know, do a little jig. Okay. That's a good question. What have you missed? A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> nah, just... Very little in terms of progress, but, uh... I've cleaned out the mountain area, pretty much. I've determined that the Snowhead Temple has turned into the inverted Stone Tower Temple. Um... I think I'm gonna be heading to the pirate place in a minute here. Uh, just randomized dungeon entrances. I've spent a crap ton of money on worthless garbage. Ugh, alright. That's gonna be annoying to get back to. this document just in case. So that's uh, one small key for Great Bay, one for Stone Tower, and one for Snowhead. Ah, keys. How do I get back? I mean, I can just void out, but how are you supposed to get back? Waiting out. Thank you. Eww. 
Fuck it, we're warping. Still don't have. Oh, yeah. I thought you said I hope you got it at last, but I'm like, no, I didn't. If I performed, get the horse. No, that has to be done. That has to be done on day one. I'm only just now getting powder kegs, so I can't do that. That has to be in the next cycle. Oh wait, what am I doing? What the heck? <clears throat> that legitimately pissed me off. <sighs> okay, um... So where do I get the ability to hold them? I thought you said it wasn't randomized, though. That it was, like, put in the same place for sanity reasons. Did I misunderstand that? No? Shit. He wouldn't let me. Well, yeah, he offered to sell them to me, and then he gave me five rupees. Like... Still not approved. Um, don't- okay. Don't tell me where it is, but if you can confirm that the ability to hold powder kegs is somewhere else randomized in the game, then that's fine. Because I don't actually need them now. I thought that I was unlocking them. All right, I think we're doing Pirate Bay. This is, this place is a bust. It's a long truck to get it. That's fine. Like I, said, I don't need them yet, so I'm not too concerned about it. So I gotta do this without stone mask. And I'll need to, uh... Ah, shit, I should have done first day ocean spider house. Um... I need to get a picture of one of the pirates for the guy. Which is gonna be difficult without having stone mask, but I think you can still do it. This is Zonus! Um... Is part of the chat still cut off? I thought I fixed that. Yeah, I, I got Stone Mask. I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't Stone Mask. Oh, good. Whatever. 
that's fine. What the hell? Well, now that it's been brought to my attention, I feel like I have to fix it, but I'm not going to. This is like when Vinny's chat complains that, like, the overlay is a pixel off. there another one that's not on the map? Because I remember ZFG getting something in here that uh, was like very awkwardly placed and people didn't know that it was there. Maybe I'm thinking of a different area. I seem to remember there being just, like, this alcove somewhere in, like, one of the walls that you could go into and there was, like, an item, but maybe not. I'm not seeing it. It would be weird if it wasn't on the map anyway. Okay, um... So let's go ahead and start this area. I guess I'll get one Zora egg, but uh, there's not much reason for me to bother getting all of them at the moment. Actually, can I get a photo of the ones in the boats? Oh yeah, I think I can, I can, I can like knock one out and take a picture of it while they're on the ground. Oh, I can skip this whole thing. No, I'm lots and lots of trains. Yeah, I figured there was chests in here. this place all that well. Looks like that's a chest in the middle. Yeah. Why is there like a higher level to this? Oh, that's just how you get the chest, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Ram 
into every wall possible. Whenever I say that, I always think about the, uh, there was this comment I got on one of my Mario Sunshine videos way back in the day. Um, the comment was just like, achievement unlocked, hit every single wall possible. And there was a response to it, just making fun of the fact that it was like the oldest joke in the book or something. And I'm just like, I mean, I thought it was funny. I haven't heard these achievement unlocked jokes before. I still haven't really seen them that often, to be fair. Fuck, it's three o'clock. Okay, hold on. Reload. I've probably missed the opportunity. Um, let me, let me see. I might still be able to get in. I can't play this underwater. Shit. Um. I need to get out of here, like, now. Um, Cafe leaves his hideout, and I have the opportunity to talk to him. And just like that, psychically, the lamp turns itself on. Because Martin knew that I would not want to, uh, like, use the voice command. Fine, fuck, come on. I'm not gonna make this. Try the clip if I don't get it on time. Oh, there's Andrew. Um, there's the postman. <laughs> I just barely made it. Issues? What is this? This gives me Keaton mask, right? Or no, Keaton mask you get from the the dude at the shop. I think this gives me pendant. Here, have this pendant pictured here. Oh, okay, that's fine, I guess. So now this gives me the ability to come back into this hideout, which I need to do on the third day to get Keaton Mask, right? entire quest again, twice. Actually, no, I don't have to do it twice. I only have to get the priority mail twice. And who knows where that's gonna be.
Yeah, I mean, I'm getting bits and pieces of this. I know where the letter is. I don't know where the pendant is. I don't know where the priority mail is. So I guess I really only have one of the items. Um, I've already gotten the couple's mask. But that's not needed for the quest. That's just the reward from it. I read the Majora's Mask manga a few years ago. I don't remember that part specifically. I'm not saying it didn't happen, I just don't remember. God damn it. If you just get the mail and the mask, you don't need to do the quest. Well, no. The mail... I need to get the mail twice because it leads to two rewards and I also need to do the entire quest once to get what the couple's mask turned into. Which means I basically have to get every item from it independently from wherever they spawned and then do everything at the proper time. Yeah, it's a shame that the Akana Canyon stuff got cut from that story, because it has a very interesting backstory that I'd like to see fleshed out. Yeah, we could do that, but where's the fun in that? Also, guess what I forgot to do? Check if the postman was in his house. Except I know he wasn't, because I saw him at the laundry pool. So, I don't know what time he gets back to the house, probably like 6. Quiver downgrade. That's three heart containers, I think. I mean, okay. for days. Uh, oh yeah, there's like a crystal switch. And another chest, apparently. I'm glad I looked, because I had no idea this was here. Okay, 
if you say so. I didn't even know what the switch did because I sped up through the cutscene. Tristan, have you been drinking? I can't remember because I'm so drunk. There's a lot of switches in this place. This whole ship's a bunch of buttons. That was absolutely not a Master Shake voice, but we can pretend that it was. We jump into spikes. Yeah! Morning rescue. Alright, well that was all a bunch of nothing. In the dryer! Okay, here's a place that I don't know the layout of at all. Oh shit. No. No. Don't mind me. I'm just shooting you and like making you pass out so I can take your photo. It's fine. I usually do stone mask, but yeah, I've not done it legit in a long time. You're probably gonna catch me, aren't you? I have to, I have to get a picture of their face. I'm not really sure if this counts. Fuck. There's probably a better one I can get a picture of, actually, so yeah, let's not do that yet. Why is it that every area with Gerudos has to be, like, this horrible maze of interconnected rooms that's impossible to remember? I think that should be good enough. Here's the part where, uh, hey, my friends are all screaming and collapsing to the ground. Let's do nothing to investigate what's causing this. Also, there's just cannons over there. Gara mask, okay. Well, we have access. Oh shit, hi. <laughs> Was there a fourth one or did one of them get up? I couldn't tell.
Yeah, I have access to a kind of now. I should, at the very least, uh, turn in my ocean deed. But uh, I might hold off exploring the rest of that until I'm done with this. Okay. What does this get me? I am Reptar. Yeah, I know about that. I've not done it before, but I've seen it be done. going to be great. Bottom of the well. Everything dies. I guess I can just use Zora Shield. to leave, turn this egg in, come all the way back, get another egg, repeat. Alright. I've been looking for that. Not the place I expected to find it, but sure. Okay, I guess I'll just get caught intentionally here. I like the Zora yelling. Oh, this is gonna be tedious as shit. <laughs> I know I've talked about this at some point, but I don't know when it was. Um, a few years ago, when uh, Majora's Mask 3D came out, we did the side-by-side -side playthrough um, where one of us played 3D, one of us played it on like N64 or Virtual or whatever it was. Um, and then after that, I played through 3D on my own, um, getting 100%. And then I played through it again because I like Majora's Mask a lot and I just kind of felt like it. Um, and this was when I started my job at... Oh, I could have just warped. I'm stupid. Um, I started my job at the uh, Comcast tech support place and I would, I would bring the 3DS with me and play it during break and stuff. And so I decided to start this stupid challenge run where basically my goal was to complete the game in the lowest number of cycles um, without slowing down time, and I was also stacking that with a, a three-heart-only challenge and a, uh, like, don't-use-fairies challenge and a don't-get-other-bottles challenge. So, um, in, like, the first cycle is obviously the one where you're, like, forced to... Like, you confront Skull Kid, you get the Ocarina back, all that stuff. So that one, that one, nothing really changed. Um, the second cycle, I managed to complete Woodfall and Snowhead. Uh, reminder, this is not with time slowed down. So I completed both of those, um, relatively glitchless from what I remember, because I don't think there's really that many glitches in the 3D version. I could be wrong. Um, the next cycle was Great Bay. So I had to do Pirate Fortress, um getting 
all of the eggs there, and then all of the eggs at Pinnacle Rock, in one cycle, without slowing down time, with one bottle, and then still have enough time afterwards to complete the temple. It was kind of a piece of shit. But I did do it. And then on my fourth cycle, I had to do the entire Akana section, which involved getting the stuff necessary to go through Bottom of the Well, and then everything in Stone Tower. Um, it was uh, determined pretty quickly that the Majora 3D version of Twin Mold with this three heart challenge is uh, really, really unviable because he basically one shots you. Um, I did eventually do it. I don't know how the fuck I did, but it, it took me like a week, but I finally got it. Um, so I had successfully completed everything except for uh, beating Majora on the moon. Uh, within the, like, three cycles, basically, not counting the original one. I never did actually beat Majora. That was the one thing I never did. I should try again at some point. Because I still do have that file. I actually don't even remember if I tried. I, I think I might have tried it once, realized that you die in one hit, and then was like, yeah, this is, this is kind of ass. Um, I don't know where Hookshot is. So, let me go back this way, because, um... I checked the door up here. I checked the other door at the top, but then I didn't get through it, because I got thr I, I checked the chest, but then I didn't get to keep going, because I got thrown out, so... I'm gonna go back up that way. from the tower in the center, okay. It'll be checked at some point. I know there's a way you can, like, merge with these torches, but, yeah, I don't know how you do it. Or at least, well, I know you can do that in Gerudo Fortress, I don't know about this place. It was mentioned earlier, though. So I assumed there was a way to do it. still keeps going. Okay. Nothing wrong with having a duck or not. You know it would be great? Another bottle. Oh, yeah, I suppose so.
Come on. Oh, Lord, this is going to take forever. All right. We're halfway done with the fortress. Then I have to get the seahorse and then get three over in that area. Please. Um, I mean, you can duplicate eggs, I think. I just don't know how to do it. I need to explore the whole area anyway, so it's like... The only part that's really bad about this is just the back and forth that I have to keep doing, because I have to keep depositing them. The best part about all this is the new wave bossa nova is going to end up being like a heart piece. section's basically been checked out. I'm trying to get an idea of what I still need to do. There's some stuff over there I can look at. There's apparently chests out in this area. I'd like to get those. Um, shit. Okay. Somehow didn't see me. where I drop the bees. Yeah. Not to be confused with drop the bass. Wait, isn't this... This is just the hookshot chest room, isn't it? No, okay, it, yeah, it is. The chest that I got earlier wasn't the hookshot chest. I think you just get caught instantly if you go in that room. Alright, so where do I go? Over here, I guess. That would make sense. Thank you for that. Is this Grog? Alright then. Oh, I didn't save before this chest. Hi, Sarah. Okay. Don't have to worry about finding any of those anymore. That's unusual. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a fairly... Um, yeah, ice arrows are used in this game. It is fairly appropriate for them to be here. Alright, let's see. That is an exit-only door. There appears to be a chest below me, if this map is not lying. Well, you quote-unquote need them to get into Akana. You don't technically need them, but you're supposed to. Uh, they're used in Great Bay Temple. They're probably used for some other stuff, I don't remember. Okay, there's a door, there's a door. Let me find the other chest first. Or not. Okay. Well, let's pick th the outer door first. Oh, wait, I need to drop off the egg. God damn it. Just when I thought I was making progress, we get to leave. Yet again. At least this is the last time. You're standing above the tank. Fucking dump it in. I still feel like this game has a lot of really obscure shit in it. If I had uh, grown up with the Zelda series as a kid instead of getting into it later on, and uh, was not the type of person to just play through a game with a strategy guide, like 100% of the time, I feel like there's no way I would have gotten through this game. Those are two big ifs, especially the second one, because uh, I used strategy guides for basically every single game up until Metroid Prime 2. That was the first time that I, like, made it a point to not use one. I think my, uh, my greatest, like, gaming achievement of not using a guide prior to that was Kirby Superstar, which is not saying a whole lot. I did 100% that game, though. And there's some stuff in Great Cave Offensive and Milky Way Wishes that's kind of tricky. There's no reason to ever go over here. That's weird. That's the one Kiff was playing through, right? that actually can kind of pay attention to their surroundings. 
She still doesn't actually leave to investigate when she hears footsteps, but hey, it's a step in the right direction. final egg and there's one treasure chest left to check in the outside area which hopefully this door is going to lead out to and then we never have to come back here again until it turns out that collecting all the eggs gets me like the priority can, can we not but yeah if this actually if, if the fucking eggs lead to something that is of like massive importance that I'll have to do again in a later cycle I'm gonna freaking slit my wrists um. Please. Turn gothic. Vampire Potter. How the hell do you get this chest? Where even is it? What would I get from the eggs that would require me to do this again? Um, Basically, a small key of any variety. Priority mail. There's a lot of things it could be. Seriously, how do you reach that? I think I might see how. Yeah, you can get it from down here. finally done with this area. It's absolutely worth it. Alright, now to find out that my photo of the Gerudo wasn't good enough. Someone remind me that I need to do the third day Honey Darling game. I'm not going to be doing it now, I just have to make sure I do it at some point. 
What? Oh. Ah, eh, he can still die, it's fine. Going through Pinnacle Rock twice? No, no, I'm going through Pinnacle Rock three times. Heh <laughs> heh! At least this isn't as bad as going through the Pirate Fortress four times. It shouldn't take that long. It'll still take long, but it could be worse. Just feed it to the fish in the, uh, in the lake lab. You have strange powers, Fenf. Follow me. The walls have ears, Eddie. Follow me. I don't know what that Ed voice was. It certainly wasn't an Ed voice. But we can pretend. Uh, question. This seahorse is going to respawn at the beginning of the area when I leave, right? Because I'm decidedly not memorizing this path. Boom thing. Don't even think about it. Think about it. You don't think it does? Eh, I, I'm going to assume that it does. That would, that, that would be a little bit too mean if they didn't do that. These fucking eels. These things are glitchy as shit. And have no animation and also just really creepy. I don't get what their deal is. I can't even warp out of here because everything's underwater. Ew. Actually, hold on. Let me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, let, let me check these chests just on the off chance that one of them is a bottle. Oh, crap. I, nope, too late. We've already left. has gone to a place that I'd also one day hope to go, the toilet. So, I'm trying to think if there's any individual quest in the game that's worse than this other than the Anju Cafe stuff and Stone Tower Stray Fairies. This might be the most tedious one. Oh, uh, the fucking uh, Don Garo's mask stuff, too. God, I forgot about that. Ugh. I hope none of those are anything needed. I'm not doing Don Garo, unless I absolutely have to. It's going to be the last thing I check. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mean I like the story for it. It's just for the... T for the intents of the randomizer where I'm just trying to get items, it's like, do I really want to do all that?
At least we get good music. Um, I mean, it gets rid of, like, the... There's, like, hurricanes and stuff, right? And the water is, like, murky and poisoned or something. I don't think it's poisoned, but it's, like... There's something wrong with the water. I don't know what it is. Oh, mechanically? Um, it opens the minigame with the boat where you have to jump from one island to another. It uh, saves Lulu's voice, which makes her, like, part of the... It basically gets the band back together. It, it, I don't think it does very much. I'm gonna check the chest. Brown bricks in Minecraft. Nobody involved knows that the correct way to normalize audio. I think the Akana Canyon section is it just kind of vaguely gets rid of the evil inhabiting the area. Like, I don't really know what it's supposed to do other than that. Alright, and what's the other one? Actually, kill both of the ones down here, because I have to kill all these to get the other seahorse. Um, Okay, so Zora Egg is in the bottom one. I will remember that for later. I'm just gonna clear out all of these. I'll just get the egg on another on the trip back. Meanwhile, kids are making horrible, like, screaming noises outside. Oh shit, I hit A before I saved to hit. Ooh! Nice. Come the fuck on! Yeah, the Razor Sword doesn't ever see much use, so it's... A little sad to see it go. Well, that's okay. Come on, I need magic. Unless that was the last of the eels, which I don't think it was. Yeah, I think there's still a couple more. Wait, do they all respawn when you leave? Well, I needed to turn in the egg anyway. Come on, get up the ladder. I am very thankful that this platform was lowered compared to the Japanese version. That's a very good question. Alright, 
do I have to kill every one of these eels again? Because I'm going to be a little bit upset if I have to. Uh, only one. I'm not sure what I'm hoping that this reward is going to be. Because if it's something crappy, then it will have wasted my time. But if it's something that I have to do again later, I'm going to be extremely pissed off. So, uh, Giant's Wallet would be nice. Great Fairy Sword, even though I just got the Gilded Sword. I'm trying to think what else would be good at this point. Just generic mask. I think I have most of the good masks already, but... Uh, Anything permanent. Oh yeah, it could still be the new wave bossa nova. Fuck, all the eels are gone. No, I have ice arrows. Or, they're back, I mean. I already got ice arrows. They were in the pirate fortress. This is stupid. I d if I had known they would respawn, I w would have done this area a lot differently. It's okay. This is this is everyone's favorite section of the game, and it's just making sure that it uh, sticks around for as long as possible. To be honest, I actually don't mind this section. It's just, when you have to do it with one bottle, it's really, really bad. Can't wait to find out that the reward for saving the seahorse was another bottle. Or finding all the eggs for that matter. Now that like the one thing in the game that requires a lot of bottles is over. I guess there's still bottom of the well though. If it's a small key, I'm going to be so pissed off. Come on! I mean, at least the seahorse and the eggs are closely tied together. Like, doing both wouldn't take that much time more than just doing one. That was English. Fucking die. Okay. Alright, moment of truth. Please, God, be a one-time only item. This is still less annoying than getting all the eggs, but I would prefer to not have to get either of these again. Okay, that was one of the things I specifically asked for. That worked out very well. Alright, let's get the frickin' song. I guess I can buy all Night Mask now. What if the Zora eggs were randomized? They could be. There's an option to make every time you catch something in a bottle, like, it becomes something random. I didn't do that because it would be garbage. I actually already have Circus Leader Mask. It could still be Mask of Sense, though. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Bro. 
Bremen mask. Let's, I, I'm just trying to think what this could be that would be inconsequential, but not completely worthless. Stone mask. I'd be okay with stone mask. It's okay. I'd rather have it be this than be something I have to get again. So yeah, that was a little bit ass, but um, it's done. You can shoot the eggs with those. When the hell? I mean, I had to do some of it for the wallet. Going in and out of the Pirate's Fortress four times and in and out of Pinnacle Rock three times was completely unnecessary. And that's what took the bulk of the time there. So I'm still a little bit pissed off, but then... Eh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Just missed the target 18 times. Uh, what time can I meet up with the Curiosity Shop owner? to get the Caton mask. Yeah, there's a lot of minigames. Dead end! We got Vine 10 Arrows, and we got Vine Dead End, right back to back. Uh, god damn, okay, let's check Laundry Pool. I guess we can try to go to Akana Canyon after this, too. I don't know when this opens. What's wrong? Come a little closer. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you know what I should do? Because I have um, the big enough wallet. I should get the item from the guy out here. First and second day. What? I thought it was specifically third day. Because isn't, isn't Cafe like out doing stuff and that's why the guy's in there through the freaking bomber's hideout. Oh. 
Okay, I guess we're doing it through Bomber's Hideout then. Fuck it, I'll do it later. No, no I won't. I need to do it now or I'm gonna forget. So wait, what's the requirement for that? Because you have to get in there after... Like, after you deliver the letter. Because that's the only way that you can get inside. But that has to be on the second day. That doesn't sound right. Oh, you're talking... Okay. No, I, I miss... I, I was... You said postman. I was thinking of, uh... Curiosity shop guy. This That's fine. They're not taking me seriously. I didn't expect to have to use this. Shit, what's my password? I have no clue what the password is. <laughs> okay, um... Can I bomb hover over him? <laughs> Come on. Well, I know, like, no, it's... You, you find him in, in, like, Cafe's hideout, though. And he gives you... What the fuck? Why can't I get ISJ? Damn it. Give me ISJ. Give me fucking ISG! Why can't I get it? I don't know what my password is. Unless someone wants to check the VOD. This is stupid. Why can't I get this? Still would like to know why I was galactically incapable of getting ISG, but that's fine, I guess. Dang! Detach the rear vehicle! That guy is in the hideout. 1 p.m. on final day. Well, I'm a little bit late for that. I hope it's a relatively, like, large window then. Oh, this is good sounding music. I thought there was a shortcut out of here. I mean, I do have a magic bean. Yeah, you know what? I'm curious. What does this actually do? Does it just get you over the fence, or does it lead somewhere else? I never bother with magic beans in this game. Um... All right, I thought that worked. I guess not. Yeah, I delivered the letter.
Oh. 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 I mean, okay. Uh, it wasn't as long of a trek as I was expecting, but yeah. Alright. Okay, let me go buy the heart piece and then go to the canyon. I don't think there's anything left for me to do in the town other than the postman stuff, which I can't do on this day. God damn it. Okay, but now that I have a powder keg in my inventory, like, I know it's gonna disappear when I go back in time, but I'll still have the grayed out one, so I don't have to do that every cycle, right? I didn't kill a man, I just broke his ankle. It'll be fine, I'll reset time. God, the weird bombshoes are weird. I don't know why, that was just really funny looking. <laughs> like, just casually gets off the horse and explodes and has no reaction to it. Now you can do the ranch chiz. Yeah, in the next cycle I can. A tree appears somewhere. <laughs> things. They're, they're so weird. I don't get what the hell they are. The deed normally just gives you like a silver rupee, right? <laughs> Koron City. All right. Why don't I put on the bunny hood? What am I doing? And before he gives me a different title, did. this randomized? No. Hmm. 
Huh, okay. I don't know if that was just not changed or if I just got lucky with that. That's always, like, whenever stuff is where it belongs, I'm always, like, not sure why. At the very least, get Tingle's maps. I guess I'll see how much of this area can even be done. These are the last Tingle maps of the game. Thank God. Yeah. What did you miss? I don't know. When did you leave? Well, Tingle has gone from having good items to just giving me five rupees in exchange for 40. So, he's very inconsistent in this randomizer. Oh, you just got here? Uh, you've missed a lot. You missed me going through one of the longest side quests in the game for 10 arrows. This is fun. God damn, come on. This is stupid. No, I did not. Oh my god, please. Just let me up. This isn't that hard. Okay. Never have to do that again. Also, polygons. Okay, so Tingle first, then Song of Storms. I don't know what else. The thing where you have to fight all the pose is only open after you beat Stone Tower, right? I know there's that one dungeon with like the four mini bosses, but most of that is locked until you have enough hearts. I can at least check it, though. What's with the family finger video in the bottom right? I have no idea. It's just a thing I found. Tingle, you are a m fucking piece of shit, you know that? <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, this is your last chance. Okay, um, I'm actually now curious, because I, I said this in a, a previous stream, how, like, normally Tingle sells two maps. It's one for the area you're in and one for a different area, so there's never a reason to buy, like, the Great Bay Great Bay map and the Snowhead Great Bay map, because they're the same item. I assume that the randomizer changed all of those into unique items, but maybe I'm wrong, because... 
I've bought these maps before. Maybe that's why they're becoming blue rupees. That would make more sense. I don't know. Let's see, let me check Po House. I don't think I can do Po House yet. I guess I can. Okay. Sure. So I gotta do this. Song of Storms to open up Pamela's house. And then I can try mini bo like mini boss dungeon. do more damage? I thought so, but... No clue what that is. It doesn't sound like a car alarm. Quiver downgrade. Let's go. Alright. Well, I made back my Tingle money. Tingle money. The sequel to Milk Money. actually works. Yeah, he curses you and then you play Song of Storms and then he fucks off. I think that's basically it. <laughs> this is good music. Oh, are we not act Okay, we're not having graphical issues. What do you know? Uh, yes it is. No items in here, right? Okay, so now I have to get into Pamela's house without being seen. I think you just make her wander away by, like, throwing a bomb or something. I've never actually done this without Stone Mask, so I don't know how this works. The hell is this music? Can you not, please?
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna blow you up. Have her go and then do the bomb. get a lot of leeway with this. I always wondered how you were supposed to figure this out. This seems like one of those things that you would just... You'd get to this part, and there would just be no way to ever get past this without a guide. Wait until she gets up the hill. I didn't know how far she went. Okay, good enough. Because then you can also fuck this up. If you don't play the song, like, immediately, then it kicks you out, and I don't know if you get another chance. There's a gossip stone? Okay. There's also the, uh, the, like, Garrow hints in this area that I always forget about. One of them might have something to do with it. So no, see, this music would have been fitting two seconds ago. It doesn't quite fit with this scene. song? No, I still need a bossa nova. Bossa nova? This is Great Fairy Pond? Yeah. Uh, let me check mini boss hut. I don't really want to do anything with Akana Castle yet because that place is fairly long and involved, from what I remember. Actually, no, I... No, yeah. I was gonna say I can't even do that because I can't get through the well yet, but uh, I can bypass that with a light arrow, I think. Yeah, I can at least do the first couple. I mean, oh, and there's just a grotto here, apparently. An impressive grotto, but a grotto nonetheless. You know what's going to end up being an important item that I've not done yet is the stupid thing where you feed the fish at the laboratory. Because I've had the ability to do that for forever, I just never want to, because I only have one bottle. Okay, that is just for money. There's no chests up there, right? Yeah. Okay, 
This should be the Danalfos, I think. Yep. I can fight these and I can fight the Wizrobe, I think. Probably not the other two. There's three of these assholes. I think it does. I think you have to change it manually. Is this rando fixed? Um, I mean, it's a different one from the old one. This one, is, it, it still has game-breaking bugs in it, but if you save state frequently and check the cheat sheet when you need to, it's not so bad. There's just a few things you have to know to look out for. Don't get on a Pona unless you have this uh, bow. And don't ever get a downgraded bomb bag after you get the big one. And preferably don't uh, get a like downgrade of the quiver or wallet either. But those don't ruin the game, they just make it unpleasant. The wallet could potentially ruin the game actually. Because uh, if you haven't bought the expensive items, you wouldn't be able to at that point. Uh, if you get on a Pona without the bow, you lose your sword forever. Because uh, the B button turns into the bow when you get on a Pona. And if you don't have it, then the game just assumes that you don't have a B button item. And it just throws a hissy fit, basically. Come on, dude. And I walk into the ice like an imbecile. But yeah, th th this randomizer includes a lot of music from other games. It has like Mario 64 and Star Fox music in it. Uh, yeah, I hate those rubs. They're annoying, and there's like 10 of them in this game. I can fight this guy. And we have blackness. Okay, game, give me my vision back. Um, okay. I was worried for a second there. I'm like, shit, is it is the whole boss in motion blur? Health is actually a concern right now. Oh yeah, Blast Mask. Thank you, I forgot about that. I'm using PJ64. I tried to use um, BizHawk yesterday and it crashed when I loaded a save state. And also the graphics were really crusty and garbage looking.
Please drop hearts. There's probably a different plug-in, I just haven't looked into it. Because, I mean, I used PJ64 for this way back for the LP. I might also just have a shitty version of it. Just a fairy, or was that a fairy in a bottle? It was just a fairy. Okay. Two of, or four of the bottles are still in unknown locations. And I don't believe I can fight the other boss. I think you need 16 hearts for that. How many did this need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hold on. Wait, can I just do these? Because this says it takes 12 hearts, and I don't have that many. Maybe randomizer change that. What is this one? The Grim Reaper guy? Oh, it's the Garo. I guess I can just do this. Alright. And the fairy is actually going to be useful here because I'm probably going to die. because of key binding issues. Because I can't use the shield while Z targeting. A tube stick. So, vanilla then. I'm not going to pull your finger. That sounds like a uh, unpleasant experience for everyone involved. Well, I'll check some of the castle. I have a few hours before Moonfall, so... The only other thing I wanted to do in this, uh... cycle was by the... Uh, All Night... Wait, shit. Do I need to save the lady to get All Night Mask? I think I do. Okay, well, we're not getting All Night Mask, then. I saved her in the first cycle, not in this one, though. Uh, where am I going? Is it down here? Yeah, it's down here. Oh, come on. 
I know I have light arrows, but... Okay, fine. I guess I won't. And I have no magic. Uh, I don't believe I do now. Uh, is this... Is this, like, version 1.1 Fire Temple music? staff only room. What do you mean? Like, what staff only room? Because I've been in all the rooms at the stockpot in. Yeah, I've been in Angie's room. I think there was, like, a map in there. No, the music is just is noticeably different. I thought I had Gibdo Mask, I guess not. Can we not, please? Oh, Garo Mask works. I never did wake up Skullkata. I need to do that. I can do Swamp House too. Are there even chests in here? Skullcata. I don't know. I think I've heard that name before, but oh, we're in the last six hours. I feel like there's an invisible chest in this room, but maybe not. Is 
this a whiz rub fight? Okay, no. I think there's a whiz rub fight somewhere in this castle. Is this just for the heart pace? So I thought this led to the part where you bombed the ceiling, but I guess not. Ah! I mean, I do have this powder keg. <sighs> okay, well, that's not that far out of the way. I do have to use this twice. Um, I can't actually get into the bar. So I, c I can give it to Postman, though, I think. If he's... Yeah, because he's still freaking out, right? I'd like to do that before I explore the rest of this area. There's actually a few things I need to do while I'm here. I need to deliver... Oh. That's right, the guy... Because, yeah, the, the, the scrub took away the ocean, dude. Okay. So, I was gonna t I was gonna use that as toilet paper, but that's fine. Yeah, the final day music stays the same. We can clear out a little bit more of this area. Oh, deposit money. That's true. Yeah. Nothing at the curiosity shop. I don't think there is. Ooh, are you a unique item?
Okay, so... Other than Stone Tower itself, the only thing I've not checked in the canyon is the thing you get from beating uh, the king, right? show off the paper or plan. I want to verify that this section... Shit. I want to verify that the other side doesn't have any chests. And then I'll reload the save state, and then I'll see if I can do the boss fight if I have enough time for it. Come on, dude. Okay, so wait, I would normally have to do this without light arrows, so how do you actually open the top of this? Because I thought you had to go this way to get the powder keg up there in the first place. What am I missing? Let's see if we have time for this. There's absolutely no reason for me to try to fit it into this time, but I figured I might as well. Four, four million sand on the virus jokes. Unfortunately, I do not have Brennan's mask. God damn it. I can still put it on, I think. I like this cutscene. The stupid little dance he does. Oh, 
Oh, hey, look, motion blur that isn't actually messing up the emulator. Oh, now it is. He's an evil man. Just look at his evil dance. I've got toilet paper. Let's go. Ah, oh, shit. That would be a pretty good Ocarina of Oz. That was a brand new bottle. Yep, okay. That was kind of worth it. Um, I already got that. I hovered to it earlier. Heart pieces and stuff like that will tend to just respawn. It's kind of weird. Okay. So, um, there's a few sources of paper. There's one that was much easier than the, uh, the Swamp Title Deed. Does anyone remember where I got the Ocean one? Okay, is there anything left to do before time runs out? thinking. I don't think there is. Gotta save the ten rupees. a lot. Yeah, I think we're done with this cycle. Oh 
boy. I kind of want to keep going, but I actually have other stuff that I should do, and I still haven't eaten anything today, so I kind of wanted to, like, go get a burger or something. Um... I don't know what that fanfare is, it's just in the randomizer, it's kind of weird. Eh, I'm thinking if I want to do anything else. I, I can at least... Yeah, let's go ahead. Um, well, I'm gonna do a couple more things. Or, yeah, actually, yeah, let's... I changed my mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, take a break, um, I'm gonna get food, record the thing that I need to, um, and then depending on how late it is, I could come back to this later on, but, um, I mean, the end of a cycle is a logical stopping point for stopping the stream, so we're gonna be done. That was a very, uh, like, I made a lot of progress in that one. What do I need to record? Um, looking at the gold and silver strategy. I already recorded crystal, and you know it. Come on. Like, I, I've shown that. Um, it's the stuff to go with the crystal video. What What is this item down here? Does anyone know what that item is? Because I don't remember. Yeah, I got a lot of... Oh, that's great fairy sword. That's right. Oh, well, I, I posted it in the, uh, thank you for what? Chest in the water between swamp and ocean for water title deed. Okay. recorded crystal a while ago. I've got, let me, let me actually show real quick. Wait, where did it even save to? Oh, wait, here it is. This the, yeah, it's, uh, I have an hour and two minutes of footage with no commentary that I need to, uh, basically, like, put something over. So that's why I'm recording the gold-silver strategy guide. Um, I have not actually used this video camera yet, so I need to figure that out and then do some editing. And I can get that up in the next couple days, hopefully. But yeah, uh, possibly see you later. If not, then uh, never streaming again. <laughs>